<clears throat> What's going on, guys? Hold up. Give me one second here. What's going on, guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you another video. Guys, I got a request. Um, and one of my subscribers asked me, how do you go online with Uber Eats? They said, oh, I go online, it doesn't do anything. So look, there's a blue button, right? On the bottom, it says you're offline, right? That's what it says. Okay, so you're going to press that blue button, go. Press it. You should hear a noise. You should hear a noise. Like, ding, you just hear, you just heard that, right? But see, it's not doing nothing, right? But look on the bottom, it says you're online. So if it says you're online finding trips on the bottom, if it's doing that, then you're you're online. Like it's finding rides right now. So Oh, that's not right. So I'll see see how it says that? It says I'm online. It says you're online. And then if you want to go offline, you just click that, click that, press that red button that says go offline. So as long as on the bottom it says finding trips, you're online, that means you're online. Like it doesn't do anything, your screen doesn't change, it stays the same, but you are online. So that's how you go online with Uber Eats. So, you know, Uber Eats doesn't pay that much. You know, I'm only at 13 bucks for about three orders. So, you know, it's not that much money, but I have my other money, right, that I'm doing, my other orders that I'm doing. Um, or my other apps that I'm running. So that was 13. Basically, I added it up. I'm about 65 bucks now. And I've only been working like three hours. Okay. I'm at 65 bucks. So I'm, a, I'm about 20 bucks an hour. Well, three and a half hours. Okay. This is caviar. So that's just a simple offline, on, offline online button. And then you can scroll down to refresh, but that doesn't do nothing. As long as that blue is highlighted, it says online, click offline. It says, are you sure you want to go offline? So that's how you go offline. You just click that button. That's it. And then you check your money. You go to your face on the left. Go down to payment history. And pa uh, caviar is not that, you know, go to zero. That's how you check your... And then see, look, $10, $6, so three orders, I made 16 so it's not that much either. But then my Grubhub's pretty good, right? So Grubhub's pretty simple as well. See that, see this little button right here? One of my subscribers was confused too. She's like, how do I go offline? Or how do I go online? See the where it says unavailable? Click that, that's a button. It doesn't look like a button, but there, it's a button. So it says, says, are you ready to deliver? So, see how it says unavailable? Just click on the right. Taking offers. It switches it to taking offers. Press this back arrow right here on the uh, upper left hand corner. Boom, you're online. It says taking offers. So, there's no map. It doesn't show you nothing. But when an order comes in, it'll be like a cowbell sound. And as you can tell, I already took three orders. I took two pretty good orders. And the bottom three, they didn't tip. I was hoping they would tip cash, but. It, hey, it, like I said, guys, I tell you, it, it, all this money adds up. Believe me. Like Monday, I made just a hundred. I made about a hundred. Well, one, one girl tipped me five bucks cash, so I made a hundred and five off Grubhub. You see that? So you know, I, I do. Sometimes I'll accept the only the bigger orders. Sometimes I'll accept the lower ones. Like that one was three bucks, but she tipped me cash. So like I said, you when you're doing this, guys, you can't be greedy. You can't get pit too picky. Like, run multiple apps and just accept as much as you can. Like, I'm getting low payouts, but I'm at 65 bucks so far. You know, I'm at $20 an hour. So, you know, even though I'm not, like, the payouts are not that huge sometimes. Like, look, first one was good, 13 almost $14. The next one was 9 And the next three, there were $4, $3, and the last one was almost $4. You see that, but it adds up, you know, 34 bucks plus my 16 plus my 14. So, you, you know, you do the math there. So 64 bucks. You see what I'm talking about? So it's not, you know, 
it's not necessarily about how many, you know, how, like I'm going to accept only $7 and up. Like you could do that, but then you have, might have to wait longer and, you know, you might have to decline more orders. Like I just accept what comes in. And you see, I'm already making $20 an hour. So, you know, you can't sit here and say, well, Mike, I, how can I accept one for $3 and all this stuff? And like, it's up to you. You know, I've seen people, they just sit back, relax, and they wait for like the most perfect orders. But per hour, they're not making nothing. They might be saving more, a little bit more gas. But I only, I, I work all, every single day, guys, 12 hours downtown Sacramento. I will only spend about $20 in gas, okay, $20 in gas, so, you know what I'm saying, so even if you get, like, oh, one for three, one for four, one for six, maybe the next one's ten, like, it, that shit adds up, the, the object of the game is to get as many orders as you can, like, that's how I do it, you know, and I always clear at least $20 an hour, so, that's how you do it, that's how you go online with these apps, that's how you run multiple apps, that's how you make $20 an hour, and um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I'm running three apps right now, and it's kind of slow right now. You're gonna have times where it's just kind of slow. Um, but eventually, I'll, I'll get another order, and by the end of the night, I'll hit hundred dollars in six hours, and in twelve hours, I'll hit two hundred. Like, like, um, what was I gonna say? Super Bowl Sunday, I made about two sixty-five, and then that following Monday which was this past Monday, I made about 275. So, you know, I just accept as much as I can and take as much as I can and try not to be late, try to get as much tips and cash tips and all that. Monday I made like $11 cash tips. So, you know, most of your most of your money's going to be on the app. So, that's just that's just how it's done. Like you can't sit here and complain over every little thing. There are negative people, there are negative people out there. Um, and if that's how you are, then this is not for you because you got to be positive. You got to run multiple apps. You got to accept as much as you can say, Oh, my miles, my gas and all that. Well, we'll do the math. Okay. I make $220 minimum to 200 to 250 a day. Like to uh, Monday, I made 275. So that's well above of my goal. And I still only spent $20 in gas. So are you still going to complain? Even though you only spent twenty dollars in gas, and you can complain about this order, that order, they didn't tip me this and that, but it's not about that. You cannot ponder over every little order that comes in, and you don't want to take it. You don't want to take it. You don't want to take it. Like you got to just do what you got to do. You see, I accepted some that were three dollars, but it adds up: three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. You know, one was fourteen, one was ten. You know, you might get tips on the app or in in cash. So like I said, you know, I'm still clearing $20 an hour, even though I'm accepting like good payouts, bad payouts, in between average payouts, it doesn't matter. You see what I'm talking about? It does not matter. So you cannot sit here and complain, you know what I'm saying? So especially if it's like one or two miles, if it's like a lot of miles, of course I'm going to decline it. Use common sense. But as I was saying, just don't be too picky. That's all I'm saying. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out.